The rain on Tuesday destroyed many properties of residents in Accra, leaving some warehouses, shops, banks and streets flooded. Some traders were unable to engage in their usual business activities as others were also displaced. They had to find alternative means of getting rid of the water before they could open their shops. 35-year-old Koyo Entry was electrocuted in his workshop at Adabraka in Accra after the place got flooded due to the heavy rains on Tuesday. His father, Ebenezer Amwa, narrated the incident to City News upon his visit to the Adabraka police station. He went around to call the people in the various houses around there, wake them up. They also have a car to come and move their car away from the place. So he is the one who has everybody over there. So at the end of the day, he said he was going to take something from the room. And so uh, when he went into the room, the rain has, it was, the rain, at that time, the rain has come at the, at the knee, is the, of his knee. So there was a, a connection, a, what do you call it, a extension wall, but it was switched off on the wall. Mm. But later, not knowing there's still power in it. So when they left the street, then the, the, the court, uh, the extension wall went to fall into the rain. Oh. So he decided to hold it and put it a uh, better place. The unfortunate for him, he, he don't know that uh, there was a, an, I mean, from a, a, a place that is torn or the way I just said, yeah, like, so he immediately he touched it. And then he got a shock, then he fell down. A day after the heavy rains, some dwellers of Adabraka and eight adjoining communities were still reeling from the destruction to their personal effects. They called on authorities to construct proper drainage system in the community to avert the annual flooding that comes with every downpour. <laughs> But apart from the, I mean, I mean, construction, the gutter, they have to, you see, tackle the place where it, uh, the, the rain from Adorna joining the main uh, train. They have to tackle it because it's tough. And even from the timber market there, they are put, I myself, I have a witness. There's a lot of dust, sawdust. So, and those places you have, you have to drive the people over there, mm. and I mean, you, I mean, who the the really, so that the water can flow and control this. Other than that, it will be very difficult. Mm. Every year it will happen. You see, June 10th, it happened, and June 9th, this thing too has happened again.